There are three different types of skills competitions, advocacy competitions. There's mock trial, there are ADR competitions, and there's moot court. Moot court is considered to be the biggest and the best because it's the only one that combines oral and written advocacy. And so the fact that you have to research and write a brief here and then get up and defend it, that is really a skill that's gonna translate to anything. To win this competition, you have to argue it six times. These are really talented students. But we do have one of the, the best move court programs in the country, and, and we're very proud of that. The court is now sitting. God save the United States and this honorable court. So this is the semifinal round, and we had 54 teams at the beginning of the year and we're down to the final four teams. Two here today and two in another semifinal. Both teams were really outstanding and really excellent. I really want to congratulate all four. And it's always kind of exciting because before the actual oral argument, you have to exchange the written briefs. Mm -hmm. And that's the first barometer of how good the other person's going to be. And so when we got the briefs from Amy and Kirsten, we knew that this was going to be a very difficult round. Amy and I learned a lot about what it takes to edit a brief together, yes. and <laughs> what it takes to just, you know, collaborate with someone else. But I think even more than that was just learning how to really push yourself to be your best at the end of the day. And I think we were really proud of everything we accomplished. And just to piggyback on that, it, it may further serve as a governor. I think overall the judges too were very nice and very complimentary. So that was something yeah. too that, you know, made me smile when I think they recognized parts that we did well. At the end of the day, of course, you know, you want to compete as far as you can for yourselves, but to just know that how the tournament enhances the GW Law community, you just can't help but be happy for everyone and the experiences that they've had. Winning today has been a culmination of a lot of hard work and dedication, and we are so grateful for the opportunity to be advancing. Kirsten and Amy were amazing. They were an honor to compete against. They were extremely well prepared. So Shane and I are actually husband and wife, which to our knowledge, I don't think has been done before at the Van Vleck competition. So it's really fun to be partners as husband and wife and get to do this part of the competition <laughs> together as well as just law school in general. This is a real commitment for these students because they are obviously keeping up with their schoolwork and working on other extracurricular activities that they have. But over and above all of that, they are devoting their time and effort to this very competitive process. I agree with both of my colleagues. We had a full, all-out oral argument in which we threw every question we could think of at these students. Graham and Miller are narrow holdings that do not extend to consecutive fixed-term sentences. They didn't falter, they, they were just great. It's helpful to get this type of experience and feedback on uh, what makes us better, both written and oral advocates. Ariel and I have known each other since we were 1Ls. We served as co-presidents of the Jewish Law Student Association together uh, last year and decided to be partners for this competition. So today we won our rounds of the semifinal competition in the Van Black competition and it feels it feels really good. I feel like in game mode like all over again, but it feels good to see like the work pay off. It's been a long road. <laughs> we were in the same LRW section first year, and since then we've been incredibly close. If I were one of their clients, I'd be so grateful that they were standing next to me in court. He was saying that victory takes many forms, and here I think victory is that both teams did so incredibly well. Oye, oye, oye. All persons having business before the Honorable. The you get a little better each time. And so these people are really honing their skills. The finalists will have written briefs. They'll be the only two teams in the competition that will have written the brief for each side. And it's also very telling the finalists are all two else, which is pretty impressive. Mr. Chief Justice, and may it please the court, Sam Rinaldi, on behalf of New Columbia on the sentencing issue. This is an opportunity to argue a case, to brief a case, without anyone's liberty being on the line. And so even though when you're on stage, it feels like the stakes are high, in actuality, it isn't. It just shattered a lot of barriers that, you know, first year of law school puts up where you feel like you need a lot of time to prep and you don't get to speak in front of people very often. All of that is sort of 
um, taken away in this competition. We learned how to write quickly. We had to turn around briefs in a much shorter time period than either of us were used to, and that's how the real world works. And so there's a certain comfort that we now have that we didn't previously, just speaking in front of a lot of people and voicing our thoughts. Uh, so from students, we had wonderful uh, kind of support, you know, a lot of congratulations and good lucks, and even from faculty. So it, it definitely helped uh, get us in the mind frame for, for the competition itself. Then do we have to reevaluate that every five years when medicine advances and people live longer? Well, Your Honor, that's the problem with drawing a bright line. We were really thankful that this final round came down to us against our friends Mwamata and Samrin. Uh, we met them our 1L year in the Brandeis Inn, and that's a unique part of GW Law's tradition. So it builds a rich community where 1Ls can lean on one another. To write a moot court brief, which ends up being about 30 pages, I would say takes two to three weeks of spending multiple, multiple hours a week poring over not only the research, but also writing up the arguments and then fine tuning um, the citations and the wording and everything to, to get the final product ready. I think winning today is probably the highlight of not only our, like our law school careers, but undergrad, high school. And so really in every stage of the process, there were people who rallied around us, supported us, did lots and lots of practice with us and got us ready for this round. Already in job interviews, we've had people notice, oh, I see that you're on the moot court board at GW, or I see you did this moot court competition. Tell me what that's like. It's a great starting point, I think, with employers. It shows that you've become like a mini expert on one topic and you were willing to put in that hard work. So I think we already we've seen the fruits um, of just competing in the moot court competition and being on the moot court board and what value that has to employers. When we were applying to law schools, obviously there are many, many excellent schools in the country, but one thing that really stood out to us about GW that I think has totally proven to be true is that people um, care about you and care about each other. And um, we've made some extremely close friends here, including Mwamada and Samrin, um, who I think will be lifelong friends. And I'm not sure how much you get that at other schools.